Well, hey guys, I hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this video. Today I've got a combined Vitacost eye herb haul to share with you all. And um, I just got home from work. Rather than, than uh, filming a vlog today, I decided to do a video just on my haul because I realized that in sharing my um, Vitacost hauls with you guys that I go through the haul very quickly and I uh, don't really talk about why I pick certain things and, and that sort of thing. And you guys really seem to be enjoying Vitacost. Um, so I, I wanted to take a little bit more time to go through some of the stuff that I got. I also got some stuff from iHerb, which um, many of you all have used iHerb as well. Um, so I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. Um, and if you don't know about Vitacost or iHerb, uh, they're both uh, online sites where you can get like tons of like healthy groceries, household cleaning supplies, fun gifts, snacks, um, beauty supplies, makeup, a lot of like um, allergen and diet specific um, products that you might be searching for that aren't readily available to you in your stores. Now I typically shop on Vitacost um, because it has the merit of the fact that I also use Ebates. Uh, Ebates is like an online rebate program that basically pays you cash back for shopping on certain sites online. And Vitacost is one of those sites. You get 3% cash back for the most part, um, unless they're having some special, in which case you might get more. But for the most part, it's 3% cash back on Vitacost, so long as you have an account, so long as you have an Ebates account, which is totally free. And if you're interested, I have a um, Ebates uh, referral link down below that will get you I think 10 bucks just for signing up and uh, so long as the extension is active Ebates not only will credit you to an Ebates account cash back for every online purchase you make just just by regularly shopping online but it also will culminate any coupons within that site so and, and apply them to your cart when you get ready to check out. So I really like that about it and that's why I've been using it on Vitacost um, and primarily shopping on Vitacost. iHerb, however, has some unique merits to it that I'll point out. A, one of the reasons that I wanted to order some stuff and share it with you guys is that they ship to far more countries than Vitacost, I believe. I'm not sure which ones Vitacost ships to, but I know iHerb ships to um, India, the UK, all over Europe, um, and I believe Japan as well. So I know many of you watch me from uh, Canada and the United Kingdom and um, many of you from um, uh, countries in Asia and India and that's just so fantastic so I wanted to share some of these products with you both sites have very 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 identical merchandise both program the other merit about iHerb that I really like is that it essentially pays you um, like a, it, it, I can't quite figure out how its rewards program operates but each time you purchase something each time you place an iHerb order you essentially get cash to your iHerb account that you can then it's basically free money so rather than whereas eBay just gives you three percent cash back by shopping on Vitacost iHerb gives you a certain percentage cash back to then be able to use on future iHerb purchases so that's also great because who doesn't love like free money so today I thought I would just do a dedicated VC iHerb hurl. So coming on over and I've got my green tea candle is judging there. Um, so he is, those DW home candles guys, I mean, Ali Sedalis hit the nail on the head. They last so stinking long and they smell so good. Comment below if you got the green tea leaves candle because you guys were saying that you really enjoyed it. But anyways, let's get started. So first up, um, one thing I always purchase, this came from Vitacost, is the organic apple, their, their brand of organic apple cider vinegar. I really enjoy it. It has the mother. Vitacost and iHerb both have, um, both have uh, the Bragg's brand of 
of apple cider vinegar that you can purchase and a few other excellent brands. And the reason that I like these brands is that they've got the mother in it, which is kind of the probiotic component and probiotics are, you know, kind of helpful for digestion and that sort of thing. And uh, they seem to be all the buzz right now. Like I've said on here before, I'm a dermatologist, not a nutritionist. Um, the skin benefits of ingesting probiotics, the studies are very, very limited, um, potentially helpful in people who have eczema, which I do. Um, do. Do I personally anecdotally notice an improvement in my eczema consuming probiotics? Yes, but I'm also very diligent about my skincare for my eczema, so it's hard to tell. But I just really love apple cider vinegar. I like to make dressings with it. I like to um, use it in cooking. I like to add it to soups. I like to add it to my lentils after they're done cooking or beans after they're done cooking. I find it imparts a nice flavor. The Vitacost brand is comparable in taste and quality, in my opinion, to the Bragg's brand, which is also fantastic. So I got that and this haul is like sea vegetable heavy and my rationale for consuming sea vegetables is A, I just love them and you know I think there is something interesting about about you know recently I'm exploring the territory of Asian skincare and Asian beauty and um, some of the Japanese and Korean skincare things and you know one of the things that I, I think cannot be ignored in, in kind of trying to adapt some some of a culture's uh, uh, behaviors is, is looking at them as a whole and kind of you know I've said on here before I think a big part of it is is a, a big part of their skin radiance um, and, and skincare is, is sun protection. That's not really emphasized in any of these uh, cosmetic kits that you can buy online, but I think that's a big part of it. And then the other thing that I think is interesting to note is, there, is that their diet has some unique things to it, and that is consumption of sea vegetables, um, like kelp, kombu, and dulse, um, and a variety of these things. So I've really gotten into cooking with these things over the years, and I really enjoy them. And kind of my gateway into sea vegetables has been the sea tangle kelp noodles. I've been eating these for years, and I really, really enjoy them. They may appear strange to you all, but I encourage you to give them a try. The recipes on the back of this um, sea tangle brand are all fantastic. I use these uh, in a variety of ways. I will use them as salads. Um, it, when I'm, I will use them on top of salads as like a crunchy topping. They're kind of the consistency of like a cucumber or like a, like a crunchy jicama, that type of consistency. They're not slimy, they're not salty, they don't have a fishy taste at all. I mean, they're kind of bland tasting to be honest with you. So um, you don't, they're not so, so great without like a dressing on them or a soup. You don't need to cook them, but you can add them to hot liquids and they will soften and kind of be new, more noodly. Um, so I have added them to soups as well and they're really good that way. And this Sea Tangle brand is very good. And I get these, um, you can get this brand both on Vitacost and on iHerb. I will say that iHerb has a stronger selection of variety. Um, so I got a few, so I got all of my Sea Tangle this time on iHerb rather than Vitacost. Um, I also got the green tea leaves flavor, which I've had before and is very good. And there's some slightly different recipes on the back of this bag. Um, a kelp noodle with shrimp and broccoli, a coleslaw with the green tea kelp noodles. These are really good. They're infused with green tea, so they give you theoretically a little bit more antioxidants. There's also another sea tangle um, kelp noodle that, I did, that I've had in the past that's very good on there. There are two more on iHerb. I heard not body, by the cost. Um, there is a Kona Berry kelp noodle that is very good. And then there is um, a, by the Sea Tangle brand, sort of a, a mixture of different sea vegetables along with the kelp noodle. And that's also very good. It comes in a heavy salt brine that you kind of have to rinse off. Um, so I really love those. Um, they're, they're rich in minerals, um, which is something that I'm interested in as part of the, the diet. All of these sea vegetables are very rich in minerals. And I really think there's something to be said for that in, in terms of the skin benefit. I, there's no like hardcore data for it, but I think, um, you know, there's, it's, it's something notable about their diet that they um, consume mineral rich foods and, and vegetables and largely a plant-based uh, diet in many of these cultures. So that's kind of why I like using these over just like plain like iodized salt. 
Um, I just find that it, it's really a lot, gives a lot more sophisticated flavor to things. So I've really been enjoying these. A caveat to kelp and to sea vegetables that you do need to know with regards to skin is that there is a high iodine level, um, is that the iodine is, is somewhat high in these and consumption of iodine has been, um, can trigger a flare of acne. So if you, and that has been reported with um, a consumption of a lot of kelp specifically, of a lot of, of kelp. So um, I believe in all of the reports, the individuals were consuming like massive quantities. Don't look at me, but that has been reported. So just be aware of that uh, little caveat, but um, they, they taste delicious and I'm really enjoying them. So moving along the kelp train, I also really love the dried kelp that, um, uh, this is the, this comes from the Main Coast Sea Vegetables brand. I really enjoy this. This is very similar to the Japanese kombu. This is used in Japanese cooking and a variety of other Asian culture cooking, but they basically use it. Not This is how I've kind of been, been, been copycatting, catting, caddying it is to use, um, use it as a, to make a broth essentially. And I believe the, the traditional soup is called dashi. And then we'll add soba noodles to that and you know, tofu or shrimp or beef or whatever kind of uh, addition you really want. Um, Google it or um, um, I was gonna say PubMed dashi. <laughs> Um, Pinterest it and you can get some great recipes for sure if you're interested in trying that out but it, and or you could also get it at your you know, local Japanese restaurant to give it a whirl um, but I love the kelp I love this Maine Coast vegetable brand and then one sea vegetable that some that a handful of commenters clued me into and OMG I cannot quit is dulse okay this one is the Main Coast Sea Vegetable brand of Dulce. I had to get me a Dubal bag of Dulce. Oh no, not just a Dubal. I also went over to, this is a third sea vegetable brand that I also really like. It's the Icelandic one, their Dulce. I straight up can eat this out of the bag. It's really good. It's a lot lighter. It's, a, it's actually kind of sweet tasting and it's red. Um, and so I think that that um, is a really unique property of this. And again, this just has a subtle salty sweetness to it. It does not taste like fish at all. It does not taste like you've just consumed a mouthful of ocean water um, whatsoever. So I really love it. I think it tastes fantastic though. Okay, and then another thing that I learned from you guys, see we're, we're feeding our, our uh, we're feeding off of each other. Here. I had no idea about this rose hip phenomenon until I started making YouTube vi videos and people kept asking me about rose hip oil and I was like, what the heck are they talking about? And so I started researching it because it's not like something that is in any dermatology textbook, at, at least it, in the training that I went through. Um, you know, so I started Googling it and you know, I have reservations about putting all these botanic serums on your face, but I am fine with ingesting them, especially uh, interesting foods. So rose hip tea is something that I'm really intrigued to try. So I picked up from, this is available on Vitacost and iHerb, the, this is the Frontier Co-op um, Whole Rose Hips, certified organic. These are the whole hips, the whole hips. So I'm stoked to smoke for this because, you know, me being a Southern gal at heart, um, I was raised in the South, um, we, we drink a lot of, of iced tea and in the summertime, my mother always used to make um, sun tea, which you, you basically take tea bags and put them in a jar and let the tea brew outside because it gets so hot here. I don't actually intend to do that in, with this, but you know, it's just kind of recreating that that memory in a way. And essentially what you do is you take, from what I've read on the internet, you can take some of these rose hips and put them in a mason jar and cover them with boiling water and let them incubate like that overnight. And it essentially brews a uh, antioxidant rich tea that you can then you know sweeten with a variety of other things. Some of you guys have also clued me into the hibiscus tea as being like, also the thing to drink. So I'm thinking that it would be cool, the mambo combo, the, the hip to the rose hip with the hibiscus, hib, hib and hip. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I am stoked to smoke to try it, the hip rose hip. So got that and then 
One thing that um, I really love to get on Vitacost and iHerb, you can get them both there for a competitive price, far far less expensive than in, at least for me, at least in my grocery stores, Whole Foods, etc. are the Sweet Leaf Sweet, sweet Drops. I, I just love these. Um, this was my gateway flavor, the first one I tried is the vanilla cream. Stevia based sweetener, like no sugar, no, no calories sweetener. The flavor is really good. A few drops of these really go a long way. And the way I enjoy having these is a refreshing beverage when I get home from work. I take a glass of, uh, of ice and I squeeze some fresh lime into it and then I put a few drops of the lemon, of the vanilla flavor. I've also used the coconut flavor. And then I just drink, then I just add water and it makes like a, either a vanilla lime water or a coconut lime water. Water, so move over Sonic. I enjoyed those and so I got some new flavors to also try. I know I like the vanilla. I got berry because I got berry because you know strawberries are in season so I thought I could make like a strawberry lemonade one that that would be good um, with some of the berry drops. And then I also got English toffee. I thought that might be good um, to, to try thing. I just love the taste of toffee. So I'm excited to try that flavor and I will let you guys know how it goes. But coconut was awesome. I polished that off the other day. So you all know I have formed a terrible, terrible dependence on this beauty dust, which some of you guys seem to think is doing something for my skin. I mostly just think that it's an expensive uh, sweetener habit that I've developed for my coffee, because, but it imparts a flavor to my coffee that I cannot describe. And I, as much as I hate to admit it, I do kind of think it does something for my skin, or at least, I don't know. I feel like I'm a happier person drinking this. This is all completely anecdotal. There is no data for this, nor would I ever tell like a patient or a general audience that they should drink this for anything. I flippity flappity love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, whenever there's something I like and I see something similar, I wanna know how it compares. And the salient ingredient in this, as far as what it's touted to be in terms of its beauty and parting properties, although let's face it, we are all beautiful, regardless of a dust, is the pearl powder. Um, and I did a little reading about this. This is like a, chi a traditional Chinese herbal medicine kind of thing, you know, not something I really know too, too much about, but I did a little bit of reading about it. Apparently the pearl powder is also high in mineral content and they think that may like, like the uh, traditional medicine folks um, think that that seems to, to impart about a skin benefit that they observe. So, um, and I feel like it is making a difference. Like I said, I would never recommend anybody consume this, but there is this brand on both Phytocost and iHerb called Dragon Herbs. Which this brand, the Dragon Herbs brand, has the Snow, Lo Snow Lotus Beauty ET. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's got all of these like mountains and flowers and stuff in it. White Snow Lotus from the highest peaks of the Himalayas is one of the premier beauty tonics in the world, but it is extremely rare and precious. The flower blooms above the snow line only once every five years. When combined with white peony, pearl powder, and licorice root, which if you'll remember back to my dark spots melasma Q&A, as well as my Asian Korean skincare Q&A, I talked about how licorice root, um, at least applied to the skin, uh, could impart a skin brightening effect. So that seemed like an ingredient with at least some data behind it. Pearl has been used by men and women alike since ancient times to purify the blood and promote beauty. White peony and licorice root support the cleansing functions of the liver, relax the body, and support a youthful countenance. <laughs> so that sounds promising. Why not give it a whirl? This contains 30 servings. It is not much cheaper than the beauty dust. Um, I think it's maybe a little bit like, like some change cheaper a cup, uh, but I thought I would give it a whirl and see how it, how it compares. And it says that you, it, it's also sweetened with stevia, so we'll see how it goes. Um, my oracasias have been out, so I got another one of the relaxing lavender. I like to spray these on my pajamas at night before I go to bed or on my linens in the room. I just think they smell nice. So I got the lavender one and then I'm really excited to try the invigorating ginger mint. So I got that. And then, you know, I also enjoy my candles. So I'm really t excited to try these. It, it, these are, um, this one is the Aroma Naturals Lavender and Tangerine Candle. 
And I gave it a whiff when I was unboxing all this stuff and it smelled delicious. These are soy candles, which I like. I find they burn a little bit cleaner and by cleaner, I mean they don't leave that black sooty stuff. And um, this says allergy friendly, but that's a lie because if you're allergic to fragrance, then this can cause problems for you. Handcrafted in Vermont, way out wax. Um, in the, the clear head, look how pretty the label is. It's got these like uh, hot air balloons on it. This has eucalyptus, peppermint, and rosemary. So definitely if you're allergic to fragrance, this is gonna cause a problem for you. Could even flare your rosacea a little bit, but whoo, smells so good. I mean, I can imagine if you are, you've got a stuff, a head cold. So I got those as well. So yeah, that's everything I got. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and maybe having it be a little bit more descriptive. And I kind of, I really enjoy watching these sort of haul uh, grocery haul talk through videos. So if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!